All right. You ready for some rumors? I'm ready for some rumors. Hit me with the rumors. Do you know any rumors? Well, not rumors about specific players, but there was a great amount of interest in Kyle Dubas traveling all around North America oh, this yes, past week. Oh, yes, the Toronto week. media blew that up. Oh, yeah, going to every city and watching games one night, the next night, the next night, the next night. And he was in the crowds and in the stands and yeah. and uh, watching things, and everyone's trying to guess <laughs> why he's there. And it's So it's not really a rumor, but it's it's obsession with this mm. young man. Well, the only player that I have to talk about in the rumor here is... Toronto related. It's Nylander. Nylander, of course. It's the biggest name out there as far as yeah. r- rumors right now. And the context of his visits uh, to these places, some of the suspicion was that he was maybe looking at what he could get for Nylander with yep. some of these other teams. Did you hear what team is, not? A, it's not official, but it, it's pretty much official, what team has been talking to Toronto about Nylander? I do not. The Carolina Hurricanes. Wow. So much so that I, I believe, or many believe, that Toronto has actually given uh, Carolina the ability to speak to Nylander's camp about a signing. Because if he gets traded, going to want to sign right away, probably. He's mm-hmm. in RFA. So um, apparently that's in the works right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. So oh. um, <laughs> here's why I think Carolina is the perfect place for Nylander. Carolina currently only has three natural right wingers. Well, Nylander can play the right wing, and he can play it well. Carolina has eighteen million dollars in cap space, so money isn't an, money isn't a big deal for for uh, Carolina whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So that begs the question: Who does Carolina give back? What does what does Toronto need? Defense, exactly. Big time, big time defense. So, if this trade happens, I think Justin Falk is going uh, the other way. He's going to be a UFA in one year, and Toronto needs experience D. Justin Falk is ex- an experienced defenseman and he's he's pretty good he's, but he's been in the rumors in the past year and a half or so so i think that maybe it could it could work both ways it's not unreasonable as now falk currently makes uh 4.8 million dollars uh, a year and this is on the cap but the problem is that this is bad for toronto because his contract was back loaded Oh, okay. And so he gets more expensive. Exactly. As, oh, so oh, even oh, though oh. he's only appearing, if he went to Toronto, he'd only appear as 4.8 on the cap. Toronto actually literally has to pay him $6 million because his contract at the first couple of years was like 2.5 or something like that. So Carolina, financially, this works well for them. Right, so, right. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I, I think that that's the best trade I could trade scenario I could come up with in my mind. So if you take Falk out of the roster for Carolina, they actually now have $20 million to play with, right? Yeah, I if guess. If you look at it that way. Well, and they still have to sign Knee- Nylander if Nylander no, came right. back. So yeah. I guess you'd be losing some because he'd probably sign Nylander for at least seven, oh, I think. Yeah, I think so. so. I think I, I think if he was available for seven, they'd probably have him signed by now. Mm. So it might even he might be holding out for more than Could that. Could be. But maybe he would take a discount this year and sign like for a next year beginning contract at seven and a half or eight or something and yeah. everybody be happy. Depends on, depends if he wants long-term or a bridge contract or whatever. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah.